Nuwapara Dokkineshwar Metro is still in the mind when another metro corridor is silently gaining pace. With zero progress in last 9 years, it almost died. But suddenly, things started moving and it was resurrected from the gates of hell. We are talking about the Majara to Esplanade Metro Corridor. We don't think you expected this video to come. Most of us are interested in riding Joka Majarat Metro which shows no sign of completion in near future. With RVNL moving slowly with the construction works at Majerhat, RVNL recently floated tenders to lay tracks from Joka Depot approach to beyond Majerhat. Tenders of commissioning of SCADA for 33 kV distribution traction substations and auxiliary substations and 750 volt DC third rail system was also floated for Joka Majerhat Metro along with New Gori Airport Metro. This somehow notifies that RVNL is keen to complete the line up to Majerhat at least. But what about the leftover section? In this video, we will talk about the much-awaited Majara to Esplanade stretch, which nobody likes to discuss. The stretch from Majara to Esplanade is known to be the phase 2 of Joka Esplanade line. It runs around 6.5 km long. It mainly continues northward from Majara with stations at Mominpur, Khidirpur, Victoria Memorial, Park Street and Esplanade. From Majara to Mominpur, trains will run on elevated viaduct and then from Khidirpur, it will go underground. Since no physical construction has started, this video will be entirely theoretical. We will try to analyze how trains will move from Majara to Esplanade. The Mominpur metro station will be built on the lands of Alipur bodyguard lines. With the conflict in between RVNL and the army, the Mominpur station almost got cancelled because army refused to give land. Because of a height restriction, Mominpur station cannot have two floors. So, either it has been designed to have ticket counters on the ground floor or it has been designed something like the Central Park Metro Station of East West Metro where the ticket counters of the concourse have been made at one side of the station and both the platforms are connected with a foot over bridge. We don't know exactly but previously the Mominpur Metro Station was to be probably made on a 2500 square meter land at the command hospital. But the army made strong opposition due to which RVNL almost cancelled the Mominpur station. Mominpur alone had a potential to generate 20,000 passengers per hour during peak hours. Dropping the station out of the plan would have been a disaster. That's when the West Bengal government jumped into the matter and sorted out everything. It carried out a detailed survey after which it was finalized that Mominpur station will now be built inside Alipur bodyguard lines. RVNL was so happy with the decision that even today it appreciates the state government for the intervention. After Mominpur, the tracks will go underground. A ramp might be constructed on the Diamond Harbour Road itself by eating up two lanes. By studying reports, we came to a conclusion that the underground Khidirpur metro station will be around 2.7 km from Majerhat and might be constructed just at Hastings Moor. Enough land is available for construction on the road as well as in between the flanks of Second Ugly Bridge. After Khidirpur, a station will be constructed in front of Victoria Memorial beside the water fountains at the Queen's Way. Victoria Memorial Station will have two entry or exit gates instead of four. This decision has been made following the request of Defence to carry out minimum overground construction in that area. Same goes with Park Street. Park Street Station will however be in an interchange with the North-South Metro. Reports say that the existing Park Street Metro Station has provisions to lay another pair of tracks along the Dondom bound platform. If this is true, then we must say that a new metro station won't be constructed at Park Street. This means that the Park Street Station is actually like Noapara Metro Station, but underground, not elevated. Well, two new entry or exit gates are reported to be built for the Joka line. The next one goes for Esplanade. The Esplanade station will definitely be a new station with two platforms and two tracks. This station will be around 17 meters underground and will connect the both North-South Metro Corridor and East-West Metro Corridor. Platforms will have buffer ends just like Shialda and Howrah railway stations and also like Howrah Maidan Metro Station. The entire station will be built underneath the interstate bus terminus at Esplanade. Now, the most technical part, the tunnels. The tunnels will be bored with state-of-the-art earth pressure balance tunnel boring machines with a diameter of more than 5 meters. The corridor will have two parallelly running tunnels, one for up trains and one for down trains. The tunnels will be built around 15 to 18 meters below surface. At Moidan, a massive TBM launching shaft will be excavated. From this shaft, four TBMs will be launched. When two of them will be boring north towards Esplanade, the other two will go south towards Mominpur. Southbound TBMs will continue to punch through Victoria, Khidirpur and end at Mominpur Ram, whereas the northbound TBMs will punch through Park Street and end at Esplanade. 
Since the Moidan area is mostly empty, speed of the TBMs can be maintained at more than 20 meters per day. This will take just 1.5 to 2 years for the entire tunneling work to be completed, which is even faster than the East West Metro. The emptiness of Moidan area will allow RVNL to execute the station construction works faster. If all goes right and funds flow in, the projects will be completed in 4 to 5 years after construction starts. As of now, Railway Board has given a nod to carry out construction works till Esplanade, and it's just a matter of time for RVNL to start construction. Pre construction works are going on for more than a year, and sources say that RVNL has a target to start the construction in between Majerhat and Esplanade in 2020 to 2021. The Railway Board has sanctioned 2,825 crores for the Majerat Esplanade section itself. So, no problem in flow of fund is expected. So, if construction starts in 2020 or 2021, the stretch should be ready by 2025 or 2026, considering no delays. As key factors, RVNL will be using CBTC signaling system on the line, which will allow the trains to run at an interval of 90 seconds. Platform screen doors will also be given, although it's not clear whether RVNL is willing to install them or not. According to sources, eight coach metro trains manufactured by CRRC Suzhou, which will be imported from China, will be running on the line, and we expect the metro to release a design of these rakes once the maintenance depot at Joka is completed. RVNL says it will take around two years to build the depot, after which the trains will be brought in. Although Joka Metro will be a broad gauge metro, no rake sharing will be performed in between North-South line as tracks won't be interconnected. So, it will function independently just like East West Metro. Breaking all odds in the way Joka Esplanade Metro will be a game changer in the life of lakhs of Kolkatans. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Subscribe to our channel for more such content on metro projects not only on Kolkata but on different metros in every Indian city. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.